hello all. in this video we will learn how we can uh, how we can do the key wedge authentication of api now i have a one api this is the get api uh, to get the uh, weather forecast when i'm uh, hitting this particular api i'm getting the data but anyone can use this particular api right but i want one particular authentication uh, like using some key authentication right so that only those resource or only those client can use this particular api those have the the same api key so how we can implement it in the dotnet core we will learn in this video let's switch to the visual studio in the visual studio i am taking one uh, secret key let's say its name is my key something my key now i will use the middleware in this uh, application to implement the key based authentication of api now my this controller has some it's starting with the api right so i will use one particular middleware if my if anything is starting with api or request is coming to my particular api uh, for the weather forecast in that case it will be authenticated for particular key uh, for that we need to add one middleware and we need to register that middleware i have already added one middleware here and this is the middleware those who don't know what is middleware they can check my video on the middleware uh, let's here key name is the same so my key so what we are uh, doing here we are just getting the uh, my key uh, my key from the header and uh, if it's not in the header then we are not uh, uh, we are just returning and we are not allowing to uh, to pass the request to the request delegate and uh, if this value does not uh, match with the key which we have inside uh, our uh, i mean our app setting json even in that case we are not passing and we are just passing the message unauthorized client and this particular line will not get executed means we are not passing the request to our controllers but before that we need to register this particular middleware with our application so that we can do in here now to register the middleware we will use app dot use middleware and pass the name of middleware class right so my middleware class name is middleware for api and now whatever the request will come to this particular application it will first hit the invoke async method of the middleware and if that particular key match it will pass the request uh, to my uh, map controllers otherwise it will not allow uh, to uh, it will not allow to hit my controller now in this case i am using the middleware here so for each request it will uh, it will first hit the middleware let's see let's run it now my application is working now from the postman i'm not passing any key first i'm hitting and so request came here on the middleware and as key is not passed so i'm it is returned back that api key was not provided now let's pass key so my key name is i think i have taken my key okay and i'm passing the value it to uh, let's say something random value okay and again hit it now again key is there what now it's getting the key value from the app setting which is this one now both the key have the different value so it's not matching and it's saying unauthorized client because the key name is incorrect key name key value is incorrect key name is uh, is correct because key name is my key that is fine but its value is incorrect that's why it's get, returning unauthorized access now i will pass the same value let's copy the value from app setting Sorry. 
now in the header i am passing the my key and same value let's hit now key is there even correct value is there that's why my request delegate passing the value next to my controller i am getting the data here right but uh, might be you have noticed one thing that for each request uh, let's say i have some uh, another api here instead of weather forecast let's say some another api some home api anything so in that case again this api will check for particular key but i don't want to uh, such security for that particular controller so how we can avoid or how we can make sure that this particular key concept will work only for this particular uh, controller so we can do uh, this for that we need to uh, make small changes inside the startup class uh, for that we can use app dot use when let's say context right such that context uh, yeah i will copy paste some data here to speed up the video i pasted some data here right now we are uh, calling this a uh, particular middleware only in the case if our application request is starting with the api uh, slash then we can use our controller name our controller name is weather forecast now if this path will match only in that case this particular api will uh, i mean middleware will get hit application is running now now i'm hitting it so in that case we are getting a hit here because our application contain uh, i mean our application path contain the weather forecast now let's try with adding one new uh, controller i will stop the video here and add will add the controller then we'll uh, resume from here so that it will not be long video okay back to the video so uh, i have added one new controller that is the home controller and uh, it contain get data uh, one get method and returning response from the home controller now this application is running okay so when i'm passing my key and i'm hitting this particular weather forecast i'm getting the data now i'm not passing the key and trying to hit but i'm not getting the data i'm saying ap key was not provided now i will hit this api home get data url right now let's see it will return or not because i'm not passing any key this is unchecked i'm clicking the send and i'm getting the proper response response from the home controller and because this time this middleware is not getting hit i have put the pointer there but still it's not going there because in the startup class we have used the middleware only in the case when the our our url start with the api weather forecast so in this way we can use the uh, api may on i mean we can use the key based authentication on the web api that's all in this video